If you've ever wanted to edit something that's in a reference, a lot of times in the past you would have to open up that reference directly in order to make that change. For instance, in this particular reference, if I hold my right mouse button down and select the move command and try to move this particular cell, you'll see that I get a pop-up that says that the element is in a read-only reference. Now, what I can do now is use the element selection tool, move my mouse on top of the element that is in the reference that I want to edit, hold the right mouse button down, and select the activate option. At this point, I now am inside that reference while still now referencing the active file. So here you can see I'm in the file called interior.dgn. So I can hold my right mouse button down, select move, select the cell, and just move it to a new location. And if I hold the right mouse button down, I can select deactivate model. And now I'm back in my main model. Now, what's also been added is if we go to a different model that actually has multiple references nested, you'll see if I move my mouse over this number, you'll see that it actually is in the nested level three reference well, in the new version of MicroStation V8i, you can now right-click on that reference, move your mouse over Activate, and you'll see the different levels of nesting. So I can go right to the nested level 3, and so I've gone 3 deep in my nested references. I can double-click on that particular number that I want to change, and let's say I wanted to round that off at 130. I'll type in 130, press the mouse button to accept it, and then if I hold my right mouse button down again, I can select Deactivate Default, and now I'm back in the main default model.